What up everyone, it's Kirtan Singh and today we are talking about the first two episodes of the Siege of Mandalore. Wow, wow, these episodes are amazing. Now, there is a lot to cover but I will do so in a short amount of time because we are talking about episodes Old Friends Not Forgotten and The Phantom Apprentice, the latter of which is one of my favourite episodes of The Clone Wars. Period. Now let's start with Old Friends Not Forgotten. The opening battle reminds me so much of the Battle of Christophsis from the first Clone Wars movie, the only Clone Wars movie I should say, sorry. And it was so amazing, the animation was great. I had one or two grabs of how Anakin just sits atop of the, he has the high ground and he's not like dodging any of the blaster bolts, they're just all missing him. But these are minor things in comparison to how epic it is, how fun it is, how enjoyable it is. And then when it gets to the Siege of Mandalore, because this episode is longer than most, both of these episodes are longer than the average episode, and it's just so entertaining. The animation is breathtaking. It's an upgrade over the last few episodes we've got as well, which is so amazing to see and mind-blowing. And then you have Ahsoka and Anakin's interaction. All of their interactions with Ahsoka are so cool to see. You can imagine like what Ahsoka's going through, especially seeing Obi-Wan again. What Anakin's going through, you can clearly see his attachments are there and he's so heartbroken over the fact that Ahsoka, you know, is putting other priorities over him. One thing I am a bit iffy about is her lightsabers. You know, they're suddenly different colors now and I obviously knew that for a while, but I'm just wondering how they changed color. And also one of them appears shorter than the other. I don't know if that's always been the case, but I've never noticed it until this episode. It's cool to see the clones now supporting Commander Tano and Com Captain Rex is now Commander Rex. It's just so entertaining and then when the Siege of Mandal actually happened and the music syncs with that of the opening of Revenge of the Sith and it's kind of indicating that it's all taking place within the same period. You see those snippets of Order 66 at the start of the episode, like, you know, hints towards it at least. You see General Grievous which is so breathtaking, Gar Saxon, oh it's so cool to see all these little references all these little callbacks but also all these so many things that just make this episode so great and then from there you just build onto the phantom apprentice which takes place directly after the previous episode and it is so good i knew ahsoka and maul wouldn't really have much of a big fight down in those sewers because in the trailers and that you see them in the throne room and then with that they actually ended up in the throne room in this episode and everything about maul is just so perfect and so amazing he's the best part of these episodes how he knows about anakin skywalker how he knows about sidious's plan how he's so calm and patient but at the same time filled with rage, anger and even fear at the end of the episode when he well loses to Ahsoka which I'm not a big fan of because he should at this point in time be stronger than Ahsoka. It's a little, it's just so frightening to see Maul so scared and saying that we're all gonna die that kind of stuff but him trying to get Ahsoka to join I've seen a few people question why he thinks that Ahsoka might be able to help him defeat Sidious. I think it's because once he finds out that Ahsoka is the Padawan to Anakin Skywalker, he believes she might have been trained similarly on the same par, close to at least, Anakin Skywalker and have a better chance of overthrowing Sidious than um, Savage and him had. And it looks like I'm going straight to the fight itself because that lightsaber fight was so amazing. It looks so surreal and I heard that there's motion capture used in it, Ray Park came back for it and you can really tell it felt like a CGI masterpiece. It felt kind of real with how it was filmed. Everything about it was just so amazing. The action is so great. Gar Saxon's armor is so cool. I want one so bad. Oh my god. Everything about it with the callbacks to Revenge of the Sith, which is kind of a future thing, with Obi-Wan there actually in a hologram now having another conversation with Ahsoka, the references to Trial of Ahsoka in previous seasons, and talking about previous episodes, one thing I forgot to touch on is it's so funny how we had four episodes with Trace and Rafa, and then in the episode straight after that, Ahsoka says it's not important or it doesn't matter regarding her journey with Trace and Rafa when talking to Anakin, and it's like, well then why did we see it? Clearly I think it could have just been skipped and we would have had the same impact of seeing Ahsoka reunite with Anakin and Obi-Wan again and her being a little more cold to Anakin and Obi-Wan would make more sense after seeing last seeing her leave the Jedi Order. Obi-Wan saying that he still feels attachment to or care to say the least 
for Duchess Satine, especially when Bo-Katan brings it up and it's like, oh, it really hurts in the heart because he's been through so much and he's grown in a way which he knows he has to put it to the side and he has done that. I do, however, wonder why, like what happened in between. Did Obi-Wan ever reach out to her and say that we can't come and help do the Siege of Mandalore or something because the Jedi Council refuses? Or is it that they did send a scouting party to Mandalore to see that Maul wasn't there and there was nothing to happen, like to be done about it. But other than that, these two episodes were amazing. I can just go on and on about them, but I want to try to limit myself as much as possible and save it all for when I do the whole season review. So with that all said and done, make sure you hit that like button and leave a comment down below on what you thought about these last two episodes. Are you thrilled, as thrilled as I am, to see where this last two episodes will go? With that all said and done, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And until next time, I'll see you guys.